uh, what are the kind of tools that you use in your work? Let's say you have a project. Uh, I mean, you can even take the example of, I mean, without naming names, like what on the project you currently work on, mm-hmm. like what are tools that you would generally use? Uh, yeah, so mostly, I think a predominant part of my work is in Python. Uh, and so that is a big one. Another uh, thing that commonly comes up is, uh, even though it's not a tool, it's a language that's pervasive. So uh, SQL, right? So uh, even if it's, uh, it'd be surprised to know that people in the field, uh, sometimes they haven't had to work with uh, SQL. And so even ba- things that some people would consider, like anyone to related to databases would consider as basic joining stuff or uh, all the possibilities that can happen with that or uh, writing pretty uh, involved queries. Uh, they, you know, they, they just, those are minimally necessary things that you really need to uh, actually get things done. And so I, th- I think in terms of uh, skills and, and knowledge of languages, uh, those definitely are important, I'd say. And then uh, being a power user on Excel, I think would be really helpful. And then, um, yeah, and also in general, a reasonable familiarity with the uh, you know, Bash shell or things like that, because uh, most of these systems, the, the client system for us at least, uh, are, are Linux-based systems. And so uh, being able to do a certain amount of things uh, in, in that environment is also helpful. And other than that, I think uh, familiarity with databases and sometimes uh, being familiar with cloud system, so AWS or GCP or uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, that sometimes comes up uh, in, in some projects that's entirely on one of those. And so that might be really uh, a good addition. But for me specifically, it's mostly been Python and, uh, and and then some flavor of SQL. So in the current project that I'm using, there is Tether Data SQL, or in the last one, there was this uh, SQL server that we use, and so queries on that would use it, uh, and so on. Right? So, I mean, other than the tools, like uh, if you talk about skills that you have to apply on a day-to-day basis, oh, okay. Uh, okay. what would you say, like, are the core skills that you apply, let's say, in your project on a day-to-day basis? Okay, so uh, even there, uh, to start with, you know, familiarity with data and the things that come with it. So even if you're not a statistics major or a uh, economics major, I'd say things like um, how, what a distribution is, or even things like, you know, what, why would, where would you use a mean versus a median? Because these are things sometimes are asked in interviews, but more than that, it's quite important when you actually have to give a result or a, a presentation to a client or someone who needs to answer a specific question, right? And so things like that, so basic statistics, basic probability, uh, and then a reasonable amount of coding. Now, you don't have to be like uh, very good with, uh, let's say, time complexity and so on, but uh, you should be familiar, comfortable writing functions and a certain amount of level with classes, object-oriented programming and so on. Uh, and yeah, so I'd say you know, uh, um, basic statistics knowledge, basic probability, uh, and a, f- a fair amount of uh, experience writing stuff in R or Python or a, lang- a language like that. It's not not a Java C++ level thing, but uh, something that can manipulate data and uh, connect to other uh, components. So Python is a very good example for that. Uh, and yeah, so I'd say having those should uh, be sufficient to get get going. And then depending on your project needs, you might be working on, you know, very small. Again, data science is a very a huge field. And so you might be working on NLP problems for the next six to eight months. So if you have these things to get started, you can probably get up to date on the latest NLP thing while you're actually on the project. And, you know, you have some familiarity to start with. And, you know, if it's text processing, there are these tried and tested methods which uh, have worked for so many years. And so uh, being... At, at the very least familiar with them, like a TF-IDF or uh, right now word to uh, or word embeddings and so on, in, if, if you're talking about NLP, right? Uh, so I'd say uh, for someone who doesn't really have a, a specialized background in this, if you have the things that I mentioned earlier and then you spend your time on the project, uh, you can pick things up on the project. So uh, 